Between the January 6th attack on the Capitol and an ongoing pandemic, 2021 was a rough year. Yet, in Britney Spears, the Nobel Peace Prize, and a Snapchatting cheerleader, we find reason for hope. The connection may not be obvious, but they are all examples from this year of the power of the First Amendment. Here are five reasons to celebrate the five freedoms as we exit 2021. Courageous reporters Maria Ressa from the Philippines and Dmitry Muratov in Russia earned the Nobel Peace Prize, recognizing the press's power for change. Artists and authors flex their muscles. Britney Spears petitioned and won for the end of her conservatorship. Author and First Five Now guest Brad Meltzer fought censorship of his books, I Am Rosa Parks and I Am Martin Luther King Jr. John Baptiste pumped up protesters in song and young poet Amanda Gorman inspired us at the inauguration. Speaking of youth, student journalists held those in power accountable. We were hugely impressed by the Pelham Examiner. Run entirely by students, it is the only independent paper in its New York town. Student speech rights were reinforced by a Supreme Court case involving a student cheerleader Snapchat, not the only victory for the First Amendment. A lesser known case granted Sharon L. Fulton and Tony Sims Bush the right to continue as foster parents in Philadelphia consistent with their religious beliefs. And outside the court, faith in peaceable assembly was partially restored on December 1, when, across the street from where things went so wrong on January 6th, Opposing views on abortion were expressed without major incident, as justices heard oral argument inside. Tell us how the First Amendment inspired you this year, and check out our Where America Stands survey to hear what others think about the First Amendment as well.